she says, hey, and sorry, she couldn't make it. Well, you tell her I said, hey, what's up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, uh, Thanks, guys, everybody. You have a good you night. You're welcome. Night. You too. You're welcome. Good night. All right, I'm going to try to take this next call because it doesn't have a phone number. It just has something weird next to it, so Ooh. be prepared. Not sure. All right. Okay, hello. You're on live. Hello? Hi. Oh, You're cool. On Seth. Hey, uh, Seth, it's it's Albert. Uh, it's, uh, what's it called? We, we, you downloaded my video game on the iPhone, and I bought your book. All right. Yeah, what's up, man? How's it man, going? Man, how's bro? it going? I'm so excited I got to talk to you. No doubt. Me too. Uh, Love I love the want game. To... <laughs> Thank you. I'm working on an update for it. Nice. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to say that, dude, you were so awesome in Burn Notice, and just like when they killed you off, like, I was totally not expecting that. And I, I, I miss you, and I want to try and see if we can get you back on the show. You know how you're saying, like, uh, Michael has a nightmare? Maybe you can be in his nightmare or something like that? Yeah. That'd that be cool. That would be actually my, that would be my ultimate happy thing to do. Yeah, that would be Michael awesome. <laughs> killing me. <laughs> and he didn't even eat the pizza. He threw it on the floor after all I, that work. I know, you and brought I all that And I tipped the guy 50 bucks. <laughs> 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 I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. So I just wanted to say that, like, I'm so glad to talk to you, man. It's awesome. No, yeah, it's my pleasure. I really appreciate all your support. It's very, very, very well appreciated. Yeah, and absolutely. I hope you like that Burn Notice fan page that I made. With yeah, all the... <laughs> absolutely. You know, I tweeted it out, and um, I'll yeah. do it again. Just send me a DM to remind me, and boom, it's done. All right, cool. And also, I'm going to let you know if I uh, become a finalist on the Burn Notice Science Challenge, because I'm waiting to hear back on that. Nice. Yeah, so I think I got a good idea about it. It's going to be pretty cool. Cool, man. Well, you know, that, that Matt Nix, he's got some really, really smart brain cells. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he's hard to win over, but I wish you all the all the best with that. He is one smart guy, man, when it comes to, I mean, you've seen the stuff he's created. Yeah, exactly. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Well, all the, all the best with that, my friend, and um, thank you so much for calling. It's really great to talk to you. Yeah, great to talk to you, too. All right. Thank uh, you. Thank cool, you. Bye. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Thanks. Okay. Well, at least that was a real phone call. It just came in very strange. So, um, <laughs> next call is area code two seven zero. You're live. Hello, Seth. Yes. Yeah. Hi. This is Dorothy. D R Danley. It's not Doctor Danley. It's D R Danley. Oh, I okay. <laughs> You're okay. claiming you're not a doctor. Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> well, I'm a doctor mm. mom. <laughs> well, Very my question to you is, if okay. Linux and Phoenix decide they want to grow up and be actors, what kind of advice would you give to them? Um, What advice would I give to Lennon if he wanted to be an actor? Lennon or Phoenix, either one. Either one? Well, my daughter wants to do it. I'm pretty sure that's... She she really loves it. She's really great at dancing as well and singing. Um, my advice for her would be, you know, enjoy the hours if if you can get through the if you can get through a day a sixteen hour day, and you feel like you you just got there and left, then you're in the right place. Um, that's how it is for me when I get to work. You know, the time doesn't even have any relevance. I never look at my watch. When they when they call lunch, I can't believe it that that much time could have possibly gone by. And when the day is over, it's like I, I, it's, it's like 15 hours just came and went in a flash. Aww. You know, and, and if if that's the kind of experience that she gets, then that's definitely the right place for her to be, or or my son for that matter. Yeah. And I'm looking to my son to basically. Uh, become a massive superstar. He's He's got everything there is in there, and my daughter, too. I mean, the two of them are just really talented and blessed. I'm really excited to uh, to watch them blossom. They're really, really amazing kids. Okay. And, okay. I, and my other yeah, and my other question is, I wanted to ask, is how did y'all, you and Kylie, determine their names? Where did you get Phoenix and Lennon from? 
Um, Kylie had decided that she wanted to name her daughter Phoenix when she was in high school. Cool. And cool. as far as Lennon goes, she uh, was really tired one night, and she said, hey, w- what if we named our son Lennon? And I was like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 it's really hard to talk into doing things, you know what I mean? So, yeah, she did it all. It was her. It was all her? But, yeah, no I mean, the, the truth me. of the matter is John Lennon is my is my idol. Um, you know, he's the best songwriter in the, in the entire universe. Uh, he was one of the, one of the most incredible personalities. I don't know if you've ever seen Imagine, which is a movie that was made by his, his wife. Yeah. Um, Yoko Ono, but I mean, the movie just filled me with an insight about the person that you know you, you don't ever get to see. Um, it's like an inside peek or look, like you're a fly on the wall back in the past, and you get to sit there like if you you know like if you'd have loved Elvis, there is no movie made about Elvis that was like made like Imagine was, and it was like being a fly on the wall throughout. A, m- a massive amount of, of years of his life. So I not only respected him, you know, because of his his work as an artist, but you know the kind of person he was, and ultimately how human he was. You know, I mean, he was just like any other person. I learned a lot about that, um, about how to behave and you know how to treat other people from from Lennon, John Lennon. And naming my son Lennon just was a no-brainer. Everybody's out there naming their son Dylan anyway. Why can't I name him Lennon? Right. <laughs> I, um, that's, that's a perfect name. I've never heard any children named Phoenix and Lennon, and I always thought that was awesome that they had those names. Yeah, um, I've heard now special. four people say, hey, my daughter's name is Phoenix, and two people say, my son's name is Phoenix. So apparently it's catching on. Yeah, I think he started a trend. <laughs> well, I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, your wife did. Kylie did, which she was awesome in the movie Sedona as well as you were too, of course. But well, thank you, you know, so uh, oh, you're welcome. I, I, I've I've seen everything you've done, and and I've loved all of it. So that's why I, I follow haven't you. seen everything I've done. How's that possible? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I wonder that little you. fly on your wall that you don't know about. <laughs> oh, is that what that? Means? That's that son of a gun. I know. I can't find him. I wanted to. I wanted to ask you about the movie that you made in '76, the, the child abuse movie that you were in. I think you were like six years old. How did that right. impact you in your acting career? Um, actually, it deterred me from want to want to act because I had uh, been given makeup that was. You know, I literally don't remember anything about it. I don't remember any of the scenes or any of the the things that I had to do. The only thing I remember was looking in the mirror, and they had given me a big black eye, and I cried and I cried, and I was like, Aww. I look so horrible. I don't mm-hmm. want to be filmed, and this is this is I don't look good at all. And it was just basically out of pure vanity. Um, <laughs> I, decided not, I didn't want to do it. They talked me into it anyways, and I did finish my work on it. Um, it was my my godmother who who actually did that film, who's uh, oh. coincidentally Beck's mother, Beck the musician. Um, they've uh, they're a pretty big instrumental part of my growing up, and uh, I had a lot to kind of latch on from watching those guys and you know hanging out with some of the amazing people that they got to hang out with. Um, but she's she's a really talented woman. And it wasn't until after I got out of high school that I decided to, you know, pursue the acting career. Uh, I really never gave it much thought. But after after high school, I was like, well, what am I going to do? And then I just, it just, I was like, oh, acting, yeah, that's what I like. And so then I studied for about the same amount of time as you'd study to be a doctor before I got my first job, and it's all worked out perfectly. Well, I was just wondering if that first movie kind of frightened you a little bit to the point where it might have scared you away from acting, but apparently it didn't. But, you know, I, as a young child, to be playing a part like that, you know, it's just it's really scary. So I was just wondering how yeah, I don't remember it. I really don't. I, I have uh, – I just don't – I have 
terrible memory anyway. Where <laughs> where, where am I? What? Who yeah, am I? <laughs> what year? What year? <laughs> I don't know. It didn't, What's it, my didn't, name? it didn't affect me at all. It didn't affect me at all. Okay. But I well, had a I lot of family there, you know, so it was a very supportive atmosphere. That's great. I'm glad. Well, I, I think you're pretty awesome. That's why I follow you. And and uh, my daughter, uh, Anna, adores you. And uh, I use her for my little Abby every now and then. So she says to tell you hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. I, I, she wanted to steal your headshot you sent me for my birthday. <laughs> but Aww. I thought she couldn't have it. <laughs> well, you can always get another one. You know, I don't, I don't charge anything for them. No, oh, okay. Thank you They're for free. talking to me. You could you could you could say I want five of them. I'll stick five of them in there. No problem. I might just scan it and just print her her own copy so she can keep it That's in her bedroom. Right? <laughs> I'll show you if you do that. <laughs> okay, I won't. I won't. All right then. You're you mad right now. All right. <laughs> Thanks for calling. I'm glad, I'm glad you, you got through. Oh yes, yeah, thank you. And I'm I just uh, Seth. I'm glad your grandma's doing better. Thank you. She's in my heart. Uh, you're, it's a really all right. big load off my chest, I'll tell you. I'm so happy. It's a beautiful all day right. today. All right. Good night, sweetheart. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I know. You hear my dogs? Oh, okay. well, yeah, yeah. Your dogs? <laughs> yes. And dogs. I have Yorkies. I have uh, a gre- an Italian Greyhound and a Boston Terrier. Um, I would love those, but unfortunately, I'm allergic to dogs and cats. Um, Me and too. That, you too. <laughs> yeah. Well, then how can you be them. around dogs that shed? Well, your Boston Terrier probably doesn't shed a lot, right? I avoid them like the plague. Oh, okay. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I can have the Yorkies or Poodles or some other kind of dog um, because I'm not allergic to them. And it only happened once I got pregnant with my kids that I became allergic to cats and dogs. So I blame them. Oh, wow! That's yep. a, that, that's serious stuff, right? I mean, you're having a nice light conversation, and you just woo. Yep, yep. I blame them. That's it. Should have kicked that's them out when they were born. You, yep. Okay. Well, you know, my my mom's blamed me for a lot of stuff. <laughs> and it started when she was pregnant, so I'm not really sure. Right. What to do. <laughs> well, we got one last call, and then we're going to wrap up here. Okay. And I already know who this is. It's Dawn, or however she says it, Dawn, or something like that. Oh. Pam just does not say it properly. How are you, Seth? <laughs> I'm good. How's it going? It's going great. I want I want you to know that uh, you're like one of the coolest dudes on the planet, man. No way. That can't be true. <laughs> well, I think it's awesome that you you know you always make a point to tweet all your fans, and you're just, I think you're the only celebrity on Twitter that I think tweets everybody. Do you ever rest? I mean, you're always tweeting, man. How do you do it? Um, I cannot divulge my secrets. <laughs> but I will tell you that I have um, it's kind of like a adaption, like you know, like the I, I, I've grown an extra set of hands. They're on my elbows, and mm-hmm. I, I wear so many long sleeve shirts nowadays. And I have to use two phones in order to get all the things done. Well, whatever you're doing, that's the secret to that. But keep it up because uh, the okay. fans absolutely love it. So, Thank you. Um, you get the Emmy for the best celebrity tweeter. How about that? That responds that, to your fans. I, would, I, I mean, would, there's that plenty would be of my first Emmy. I would love it. I would. I'll take any <laughs> Emmy I can get. <laughs> well, you know, there's plenty of celebs that tweet, but to respond to every single person that tweets you, that's pretty cool. So that's awesome. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you. I had a I had a question for you. If you okay. were not an actor, what okay. would you have pursued? I mean, what what kind of line of work would you have gone into if you had not uh, pursued acting? Um, he would have went into celebrity I'd be a poker talking. Dealer. <laughs> I'd be a poker dealer. A poker dealer. Mhm. Ah. Mm-hmm. 